Hello, my dear doctor. I would like to discuss a very important topic that is the inflammatory bowel disease, key differences. The two main types of the inflammatory bowel disease are Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. They have many similarities in terms of presenting symptoms, investigation findings, and management options. There are, however, some key differences which are heightened in the table below. These are very important hot topic for the exam, right? The celiac disease and ulcerative colitis, inflammatory bowel disease. The features include the diarrhea, usually non-bloody, in contrast to the bloody diarrhea common. Weight loss more prominent and upper gastrointestinal symptoms, mouth ulcers, perianal disease, and abdominal mass palpable in the right iliac fossa circle, the RIF, right iliac fossa, in contrast to the right hand side, there is the abdominal pain, the left lower quadrant, so circle the LLQ, left lower quadrant. And also the left hand side is written the non bloody, right hand side bloody, left hand side weight loss circle. Left hand side is written that the Apart GIT symptoms, right, the mouth ulcers and perianal disease. And right inside the lower GIT symptoms, there is the tennis mass. Extra intestinal features, right. So let's do some of the boxes of the SS box will be really helpful. Let's do it. And these small, 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 small boxes, my dear. The boxes, the pattern that I do Please follow me and it is for your own benefits, all right? Just write it down a very small box with the CD and EOC, all right? Within the CD, CD uh, Crohn's disease, just write it down. There is the known bloody. In contrast, this is bloody diarrhea. So very small box, the first box. That will be helpful. Just write it down. Right. So the diarrhea, as this box is the diarrhea. Of course, the diarrhea in Crohn's disease, the ulcerative colitis, the non-bloodiness, Crohn's disease, and the bloody is the ulcerative colitis. And in Crohn's disease, another important point that is the weight loss. Remember now, diarrhea and weight loss, my dear. Remember, the diarrhea and weight loss. Diarrhea, steatorial, weight loss. I said it. Malabsorption. Next to the celiac disease, the Crohn's disease, my dear. So, must remember, means the weight loss is a significant symptom in the Crohn's disease rather than ulcerative colitis. You got it? So, this syndrome, diarrhea, weight loss. Another box with the CD and EOC. The syndromes usually the upper GIT, UGI symptoms. In contrast, this is LGI, means lower GI tract symptoms. UGI symptom is the mouth ulcers. All right. In contrast, this is tennis mass. All right. But the most important point in the Crohn's disease is the perianal disease. This is very important, the bundle pack, all right? The box. The next box, once again, celiac disease and ulcerative colitis. Once again, small, small boxes will be helpful, my dear, yes. Abdominal mass palpable in the right iliac fossa, so RIF mass, in contrast, the left lower quadrant pain. This box is very important, yes. Next, the celiac disease and ulcerative colitis. Just write down the small, small boxes rather than making all the features all together. Don't do this. Just follow these small, small boxes. Separately, we need to remember so that you can remember much more. So, the Crohn's disease, I said, the gallstones. And gallstones can also be very obstruction they can do. 
obstruction. In contrast, ulcerative colitis is a biliary obstruction done by the PSC, primary sclerosing cholangitis. So, another box for the celiac disease and ulcerative colitis. Celiac disease is nothing but the oxalate renal stones. Oxalate renal stones, all right? So just write it down the oxalate renal stones in the left hand side. Oxalate renal stone, all right, renal stones. In contrast, the ulcerative colitis, C for colitis, C for cancer, my dear. We need to remember. Yes, it is written the complications in your notes that oxalate renal stones, obstruction, fistula, colorectal cancer, and right inside risk of colorectal cancer, high in the ulcerative colitis, then cause disease. So circle the oxalate renal stone, obstruction, fistula, and in the right hand side is the colorectal cancer. Yes. So oxalate renal stone, yes, obstruction. as well as the fistula, means the perianal fistula. So we can write the CD is nothing but the off, just write it down. The way I'm writing my dear, this will be helpful, all right? So the boxes are so important, yes? The celiac disease and ulcerative colitis, yes. So celiac disease is off, CD off, just remember oxalate renal stone and obstruction and fistula. In contrast, the cancer is the complications. Next is the pathology, right? Lesions may be seen anywhere from mouth trainers. In contrast, the inflammation always starts at the rectum and never spreads beyond the ileocecal valve. So circle the ileocecal valve. And skip lesions may be present. In contrast, ulcerative colitis is a continuous disease. So pathology box, right? Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis is a colitis. They said that this is colitis. So colitis start with the rectum, all right? Rectum means the, the most common side of, means down to up, all right? And they never go beyond the ileocecal valve. So up to, we can write, Ideocecal valve, all right? The inflammations. In contrast, the Crohn's disease, the mouth to anus. This is the important differentiating points in pathological differentiating points. Another point, the Crohn's, Crohn's, we are writing the Crohn's in the K. So K for KIP. We are writing the KIP lesions, means the skip lesions. In contrast, ulcerative colitis, the colitis is a continuous disease. The way I am writing my dear, just write it down. So yes, the Crohn's disease, the KIP, KIP lesion and continuous disease is a ulcerative colitis. Histology. Inflammation of the all layers, so circle the all layers, means the mucosa to serosa. If the total layers is involved, so there is a chance of development of granuloma. So it is written in your notes, right? Increased goblet cells and granulomas. So circle the granulomas. In contrast to the right hand side, you see this is written. Inflammation, no inflammation beyond the submucosa, only up to submucosa. Mucosa, submucosa, not the muscle layer. Inflammatory cell infiltrate in the lamina propria, neutrophils migrate to the walls of the glands to form the crypt abscess. So yes, the circle, the crypt abscess, Depletion, circle the depletion. But in the left hand side, increased goblet cells, so increased. Right is the depletion of the goblet cells, so depletion, and mucin from the gland epithelium. And granulomas are infrequent, so not happened here. Endoscopy, the deep ulcers and skip lesions. Deep ulcers, there will be a deep, deep ulcer and there will be skip lesions that leading to the cobblestone appearance. So circle the cobblestone. 
On the right hand side, widespread ulceration with the preservation adjacent mucosa, which has the appearance of the polyps, that is the pseudo polyps, the circle of the pseudo polyps. Radiology Small bowel enema, high sensitivity and specificity for examination of the terminal ileum, strict charts, that is, look like to the cantor strings, string sign, so circle the cantor string sign. Proximal bowel dilatation, rose thorn ulcers. In Crohn's disease, the rose thorn ulcers. Circle, rose thorn ulcers. And fistulae, or I circle the fistulae. Right inside, barium minima, that loss of hostration, circle the hostrations. Superficial ulceration leading to pseudopolyps, so circle pseudopolyps. And long standing disease, colon is narrow and short, that leads to the development of the drain pipe colon. So yes, my dear, before going to this uh, endoscopy and radiology, I'd like to read the notes that is written in a notes that is histology, IBD histology. The histological differences between the ulcerative colitis and Crohn's are summarized below. Ulcerative colitis is the inflammation of the mucosa and submucosa only unless found benign disease. So just see here, ulcerative colitis, the histopathology, widespread ulceration and preservation of the adjacent mucosa, which has the appearance of the polyps, pseudopolyps, so circle pseudopolyps, inflammatory cell infiltrating the lamina propria and leading to the crypt abscesses, depletion of the goblet cells and mucin from the gland epithelium, so circle the goblet gland. And granulomas are not are not frequent, means they're infrequent. In Crohn's disease, inflammation occurs in all layers down to the mucosa, uh, serosa. This predisposes to strictures, fistula, and adhesions. So, circle strictures, fistula, and adhesions. Edema of the mucosa and submucosa combined with the deep fissure ulcers lead to the cobblestone appearance and pattern. Ulcers at the rose thorn leads to the cobblestone pattern. So rose thorn, cobblestone. Lymphoid aggregates and non cajating granuloma. So my dear, I'd like to write here. So what do you mean in ulcerative colitis? The superficial ulcers will be something like that. So inflammation of the mucosa. So the superficial ulcers, mucosa and submucosa. Widespread ulceration with the adjacent mucosa, healthy mucosa. And these mucosa ultimately will come up. All right, I'm writing here so they, that will be helpful. So you see the ulcerative colitis, what happened here? Yes. And you see the superficial ulcers here and the adjacent mucosa will ultimately go up. Adjacent mucosa ultimately will go up like this. So look likely to be the pseudopolyps. And some of the inflammatory cells, some of the inflammatory cells will come up here, inflammatory cells, infiltrating the lamina propria, all right. So some of the inflammatory cells will come up here, and they will produce, you see, if these inflammatory mucosa like that, so from the above, right, we can see this is just like a crypt. And this is the inflammatory, inflammatory cells. So this crypt and this is abscess. So this is pseudopolyps. Polyps. Right, and this is the ulcer. So yes, the superficial ulcers, adjacent mucosa go up, 
and the inflammatory cells. Cells, right, infiltrate the lamina propria, leading to the cryptapsis. And of course, there will be the goblet cells, the goblet cells. cells will be reduced, depletion. And also the gland epithelium, the gland epithelium, there are the gland epithelium, more the gland epithelium, right? The mucin will be reduced. Mucin reduced, goblet cell reduced. So the summary talk, my dear, summary talk. The superficial answers, we can write the superficial answers up to the submucosa, up to the submucosa, and then you see that just in healthy mucosa leading to the pseudo polyps. And the inflammatory cells infiltrate, inflammatory cells infiltrate to the lamina propria, inflammatory cells, and leading to the crypt abscess, all right, crypt abscess, and depletion, you see the depletion of goblet cells, as well as the mucin from the gland epithelium depletion of goblet cells and mucin. And of course the granuloma is not happened here. So this is the box of ulcerative colitis. It's very important ulcerative colitis, what happened here, all right? So superficial ulcers, pseudo polyps, and then inflammatory cells infiltrate the lamina propria cause the abscess, the crypt abscess, and next is the depletion of the goblet cells and mucin from the gland epithelium, as well the granuloma is not happen. Because the granuloma needs the all layers. In contrast, the celiac disease, we need the all layers should be involved. Whenever the all layers are involved, you see the inflammation. So the granuloma is frequent here. So granuloma. So it is written the ulcers in contrast, the superficial ulcers, there will be the ulcers with the deep ulcers. This is called rose thorn ulcers. rose thorn ulcers and also the edim of the mucosa and submucosa these will come up these will come up these will come up like this edim of the mucosa and submucosa will show that the cobblestone pattern so this is the fissured ulcer rose thorn ulcers rose thorn ulcers and this is the cobblestone pattern. All right. So what I'm writing, this is important. Now forget them all together. So yes, just write it down these ulcers are the deep ulcers. We can write the deep ulcers. And these deep ulcers are rose thorn ulcers. And in contrast, the pseudopolyps, we have the cobblestone appearance. All right. And rather than depletion, there will be increased goblet cells. And there will be granuloma, and there will be there will be no granuloma, but there will be granuloma. And because of the all layers are involved, so just write it down FAS means the fistula adhesion and strictures. 
because of this granuloma. So write in this assess box once again. This is the histopathological features of ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease will be really, really helpful, my dear. So the summary talk, once again, it's the summary box. Ulcerative colitis is a U polyps. In contrast, the Crohn's disease is a K, I say the Crohn's disease is a K, cobblestone. Just write it down, this box. Now I'd like to, some of the radiology boxes, my dear, these will be helpful. Just write it down now that the Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. In Crohn's disease, once again, this is K, means the cantors, all right? Cantor string sign, string sign, cantor string sign, K for Crohn's disease, cantor string sign. In contrast, ulcerative colitis, ulcerative colitis is a U polyps, means the pseudopolyps. We are talking the U polyps means the pseudopolyps. And of course, along with that, we need to remember the loss of hostrations. If the hostrations are lost, so these will come up like that. All right, loss of hostrations leading to the colon will be narrow as well as the short, leading to the drain pipe colon. Drain pipe. So make a box, my dear. This is important. So the, the cantor string sign. Cobblestone, I am writing the K, cobblestone. Appearance in endoscopy also, and also the rose thorn. Or we are writing the coast thorn, no problem. Coast thorn answer, all right. So this is the box that we need to talk about to differentiate. I'd like to discuss the ulcerative colitis is a form of inflammatory bowel disease. Inflammation always starts at rectum. Hence, it is most common site for the ulcerative colitis. Yes, the ulcerative colitis is nothing but the ulcerative rectatitis or you can say the proctatitis, yes. Never spreads beyond the ileocecal valve and is continuous disease. We know about it, continuous. The peak incidence of ulcerative colitis in people ages 15 to 25 years and in those ages 55 to 65 years. So circle, 15 to 25 and 55 to 65. The initial presentation is usually following insurias and intermittent symptoms, which include the bloody diarrhea, urgency, tennis mass, abdominal pain, but in the left lower quadrant, and extra intestinal features. Questions regarding the extra intestinal features of inflammatory bowel disease are common. So I'd like to write the extra intestinal features, all right, before going them, I'd like to read what is written in your notes, right? So common to both the Crohn's disease and also you call CD and you see, related to the disease activity, that is the arthritis, posterior articular asymmetrical, Urethema nodosum, episcleritis, and osteoporosis. So, circle, arthritis, urethema, episcleritis, and osteoporosis. Right inside, there is a note that arthritis is the most common extra articular manifestation in both CD and ulcerative colitis. Episcleritis is more common in CD, Crohn's disease. Arthritis is unrelated to disease activity. Arthritis, polyarticular, symmetric, uveitis, pyoderma gangrenosum. Clubbing, primary sclerosing cholangitis, PSC. So primary sclerosing cholangitis is much more common in ulcerative colitis and uveitis is more common in ulcerative colitis. 
pathology is written the red draw mucosa bleeds easily because of the superficial ulcers. No inflammation beyond the submucosa, we know about it. Widespread ulceration with preservation adjacent mucosa with the appearance of the polyps, pseudopolyps. Inflammatory cell infiltrate the lamina propria, neutrophils migrate to the walls of the glands to form the crypt abscess. And depletion of the goblet cells and mucin from the gland epithelium and granulomas are infrequent. We know about them. All the features are here. Barium animal loss of frustration, superficial ulceration leading to pseudopolyps and long standing disease, colon is narrow and short, leading to the narrow and short, leading to the drain pipe colon. Colon, ulcerative colitis, colon, drain pipe. So, my dear, we'd like to write down the, the, the extra intestinal features, all right? So, we can write the extra intestinal features in both cases. I'm writing A, extra intestinal features, the most common A for arthritis. We need to remember the A for arthritis. So, A must remember. So, we have the vowels, right? The A, E, I, O, U. We can write five vowels, all right? These are mnemonics. Because extra intestinal features, the most common is the arthritis for both cases, all right? So, stance. A stands on the arthritis. E stands on the episcleritis. And I stands on, once again, E stands on, all right, write it down, uritema nodosum. And I or E, whatever, I means I, means episcleritis. Write it down, A, E, I, O for, yes, you see the osteoporosis. So these A, E, I, O, these are related with the activity once again, A plus. Unrelated activity is a uveitis, U for uveitis, all right. Along with the uveitis, there is a pyotoma gangrenosum, clubbing and PSC also associated. So other than uveitis, a, E, I, O, U, and uveitis, write down. And also, just make a box, separate box. U, C, just remember, U for uveitis, and C for cholangitis. Write it down. What does it mean? You see it is written, the primary sclerosing cholangitis. I'm writing now means the PSC is more associated with the ulcerative colitis. And once again, U for uveitis. So we can remember UC, uveitis and C for cholangitis is strongly associated, more strongly associated with the ulcerative colitis than Crohn's disease. So we can write a Crohn's disease, a small box equal to C for clubbing. Clubbing can be present in both Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. But just write it down, clubbing, as well as another disease, Crohn's disease, we are writing D for Dharma, means skin involvement that we are talking about the pyoderma ganglionosa. So write down the another box. Crohn's disease, CD, all right, the specific Associations that we are writing the other boxes rather than extra-intestinal features common for both. All right. That would be helpful, my dear. Another thing, right. Ulcer deep colitis, colorectal cancer. Overview, the risk of colorectal cancer is 10 to 20 times that of general populations. Circle the 10 to 20. The increased risk of mainly related the chronic inflammation, wrong words prognosis than the patients without ulcerative colitis. 
then the patient is without ulcerative colitis, partly due to delayed diagnosis. Lesions may be the multifocal, all right? Factors increase the risk of cancer mind. It is very important. Disease duration greater than 10 years, so circle the 10. Patients with the pan colitis, circle the pan. Onset before 15 years old, so circle 15. Unremitting disease, so circle un. And poor compliance to the treatment, circle poor. So my dear, this is very important box that I am writing now. S is box, ulcerative colitis leading to colorectal cancers. CRC, just write it down, this will be helpful. Poor pen un, poor pen un, and 10, 15, all right, this box. Ricks to the colorectal cancers. So poor, yes, the poor treatment compliance to the treatment, pancolitis, unremitting disease, and more than 10 years, and 15 for, yes, once again, that onset before the age of 15. So poor pan un, 10, 15, yes. This is very important, also it colitis turned to the colorectal cancer. I hope that this discussion, my dear, it will be really helpful. But before finishing, right, I'd like to summarize. Very important discussions, right, the differentiating points and their complications, and also the extra intestinal features of inflammatory bowel disease. So let me start by this box, the first one. You see the diarrhea, weight loss, of course the Crohn's disease, we know about it. Weight loss, diarrhea, steatoria, yes. The second, the celiac disease, of course, Crohn's disease we need to think about. But this diet is a non-bloody, in contrast, this is bloody diarrhea in ulcerative colitis. Because ulcerative colitis is nothing but the ulcerative proctitis. Proctitis means rectitis. Means rectal bleeding. We can write the rectal bleeding. All right. Next, second important point. Yes, the Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, the upper the Crohn's disease, the upper GI symptoms, the more like the mouth ulcers, as well as the perianal disease. In contrast, the lower GI tract symptoms, like the tennis mass, is important points in ulcerative colitis. Third box is celiac is the right iliac fossa mass in contrast to the ulcerative to the left lower quadrant pain because of the colon is there. Number four, celiac disease, uh, sorry, Crohn's disease is a gallstone or biliary obstruction, but the ulcerative colon is a PSC. Number five, you see that the C Crohn's disease CD off means the oxalate obstruction and fistula. Fistula. In con because of this fistula, right, so oxalate stone and obstruction and fistula is frequent. In contrast, the complication of ulcerative colitis is a cancer. Number six, celiac, uh, sorry, Crohn's disease. Yes, the colitis, you see the rectum, but this is mouth to anus. So the mouth up to anus, all right? Yes. So the Crohn's is the mouth to anus, all right? Total colon can be affected. But in ulcerative colitis, the colitis is a rectum, means a proctoditis, up to ileocecal valve. Sometimes a word can be helpful. The back wash ileitis. A term that is sometimes beyond the ileocecal valve is involved. A variety of ulcerative colitis that was that is called that backwash ileitis. This is an exception, but remember this rectum is involved. Number seven is the Crohn's always the K. We are writing the K. K for keep lesion in contra ulcerative colitis, C for continuous. Number eight box, you see that U C ulcerative U C U polyps and C for K once again that is cobblestone. Nine, Crohn's disease K for 
canter string ring cobblestone and coast thorn rather than rose thorn yes canter string cobblestone coast thorn and ulcerative colitis u polyps and polyps and pipe remember polyps and pipe drain pipe means the loss of frustrations number 10 box yes the histopathology yes we have already talked the superficial whether these are deep ulcers there's rose thorn ulcers u polyps there is pseudo polyps there are cobblestone appearance and crypt abscess these are this is not happened here depletion of the goblet cell in contrast the goblet cells increase and also the mucin also depletion and granuloma is not having in contrast this is granuloma and these granuloma because of all layers is in also fistula adhesion and also the fast should be remembered stricture fistula adhesion stricture Number 11 box is, this is important, the extra intestinal features of both IBD, the most common is the arthritis, my dear, most common is the arthritis. So remember arthritis, that's it. Just remember the arthritis. So A, E, I, O, U, that will be helpful to remember all the features. Yes, A for arthritis, E for erythema nodosum, I for I means the episcleritis. But is episcleritis, just write it down, this celiac disease is, uh, sorry, Crohn's disease is more common. And O for osteoporosis and U for uveitis. We are writing another boxes with the 12 number and 13 number is helpful. U, C, U for uveitis and C for cholangitis is more associated. C, Crohn's disease, C for clubbing and D for dharma means the pyoderma gangrenosum is more with the Crohn's disease. And last, number 14, number box, that is SS box, the ulcerative colitis, colorectal cancer risk. We already have done the colorectal cancer, the outcome is a cancer, is a complication, right? But here, we need to remember poor pan on 1015. Just say with me, poor pan on 1015, poor, poor treatment, compliance to the treatment. Pan, pan colitis, yes, now. Next is the un unremitting disease and 10 years, more than 10 years ulcerative colitis and 15, onset before the 15 years, all right. So summary talk, right, the Crohn's disease ulcerative colitis. Crohn's disease is a non-bloody, but this is ulcerative colitis, bloody rectal diarrhea, rectal disease. Crohn's disease is a mouth ulcers, and the NS disease. So mouth to NS, just remember mouth to NS. But they will come with the upper GI syndrome first and lower GI. But mouth to NS, mouth ulcers and perianal in contrast the tennis mass. Right iliac fossa, Crohn's disease, left lower quadrant, pain, that is ulcerative colitis. Right, left, right, left, right, left, yes. Crohn's disease is a gallstone and biliary obstruction in contrast the ulcerative colitis. And also the con Crohn's disease is stone. Crohn's disease is a stone. Remember, gallstone, renal stone, obstruction, fistula, in contrast the cancer. So you already have written that the fistula additions and also the stricture is common. Crohn's disease is the mouth to anus and also with the colitis is a rectum disease. Crohn's is a keep. Crohn's keep con and also with colitis is continuous. Crohn's, Cantor's, Cobblestone, Coastard, Ulcerative Colitis, U polyps and Pi, polyps and Pi. And extra intestinal features is a A, E, I, O, U. And once again, the box for the Ulcerative Colitis, Colorectal Cancer, Pan, Poor Pan on 1015. Poor Pan on 1015. Yes, my dear, I hope that these differentiating points, these discussions are helpful, my dear. Thank you. Thank you very much.